Hello, today we will start fault tree analysis. Uh, we will discuss how to construct fault tree in half an hour or 40 minutes of lecture today. The contents we will start with the history, then the symbols used in fault tree, then the concept of constructing fault tree and we will describe the PSC concept primary, secondary and common concept and the steps. We will see some example applications and uh, the source for this particular presentation is Komamoto book as well and Ericsson 2005. Komamoto and Henle 1996 and Ericsson 2005-2000, Ericsson 2005 hazard analysis techniques for system safety. Fault tree analysis is a graphical and mathematical tool and a purpose is to explore the to explore the causes of system level failures. Why it is graphical? Because we will be using several symbols in terms of event and gate symbols and event and gate symbol and all the symbols will be linked, event symbols will be linked with appropriate gate and then what happened by this process we will be, we will be getting a graphical tree which ultimately enumerates the causes of system level or top level failure. Why it is mathematical? Because the different events from top events to bottom events including intermediate events, they are linked with some logic symbol like AND gate OR gate and similar gate symbols. So, which can help us to develop the mathematics of uh, different uh, different higher level uh, that events. Here the mathematics means the probability of event occurring. It may be the top level event, may be the intermediate level event or the uh, basic bottom level event. So, that means one hand it is a graphical one, another hand it is mathematical one because this graphical tree structure can be mathematically represented. So, it uses deductive logic, it is basically why why. Suppose we start with the system level failure which is known as top event, then we ask question why that top event has occurred, then immediate uh, answers what you get they may be the immediate causes, then again that immediate e event will be answered through another why question and in this manner you will start from the top to bottom level, so that is why it is a deductive app logic and proceed top down to identify component level failures. Now, the component level failures are basic events and system level failure is the top event. We will explain what is the component level failure. If you recall the system breakdown structure whatever we have discussed in the earlier lectures. So, you have seen that we started with a system and then subsystem, sub subsystem ultimately we have gone to the component level sometime to the part level. So, in the in the case of pressure tank, the system is basically to to store the pressurized gas in the tank. Now, the tank rupture can be the system level failure. Now, if we consider tank rupture is the system level failure, then immediately the question will be why tank rupture? Then it will be seen that the over pressure is the cause of tank rupture. So, then what happened? You will ask why over pressure, then you will find out that pump over run, run will be the uh, cause. Then you will ask why pump over run, then you will find out the current to uh, that pump is too long. Then in that manner if you ask why current to mot pump too long, you may find out that the timer uh, fail or the operator fail, so many things will be coming. So, so that means the top level will be maybe the tank rupture.
component level ultimately you will come to the component level the timer the then the switch then the the, the wire power supply pump pressure gauge so all component level failure are responsible for the top level failure the top event is linked to the basic event so when you come to the component level failure and component level failure is also known as basic event it is something where you have enough data to know the probability of failure so the the stop event is linked to the I mean tank rupture will be linked to this bottom component level failure with reference to pressure tank system with several intermediate events and logic gates and event symbols so for the for the timing what you have learned here you have learned that fault tree analysis is a graphical and mathematical tool why graphical it will use several symbols and why mathematical the symbols are event symbols are linked with gate gate symbol gate symbol has specific mathematical structure particularly in the boolean algebra uh, related things and which helps you in identity uh, in quantifying the probability of the top event failure given the bottom e bottom level failure now top event is basically system level failure whereas the bottom event is the component level failure so top event when you ask why top event has occurred so you will basically dig down um, asking why why question to the bottom level or the component level now the component level is that level where what happened the failure probability is known or it is it is it, it can be quantified that is why the component level failures are known as basic events and top uh, level failure is known as top event and top event is connected to basic events through different intermediate events that is why the different event symbols are used and the connection between the event symbols are through logic gates that is why different logic gates are used it is a very uh, well known and very good technique and it gives um, useful uh, causes and identify the path leading from the bottom level or component level failure to top level failure it is extensively used in safety studies reliability studies so if we see the history of faultry then you see that it was developed in 1961 and 62 by watson and mearns in the bell laboratory of us air force and it is related to this particular system that is minuteman launch control system so later adopted by boeing nuclear chemical software so different almost all industries they have accepted this and it is a very good technique and extensively used in reliability and safety studies in fact we will see that faultry is one of the most important techniques for this engineering system safety or industrial system safety uh, industrial system safety engineering course so we will be dealing it with great depth and uh, we will spend some time uh, for this faultry so i this time you 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 have heard that event symbol and gate symbols i say the event symbol to describe the events that lead to the system level failure and gate symbol are that connect the event symbol as per their causal relations okay let me repeat once more event symbols describe the events that lead to system level failure system level failure is top event and with reference to pressure tank we have seen that tank rupture is the system level failure that is basically top event and then there will be many intermediate events so what happened we will we will put this explanation with box there will be many intermediate box and and finally what will happen there will be many many other symbols will be coming we will see later on so what i mean to say that this is our top event 
and these are the basic event or bottom event or component level event bottom component event or basic event. So, what we are saying that gate symbols are used that connect event symbol to their to that higher level symbols with causal relation these are the events this is event symbol event symbol. Now, suppose I want to link this symbol with these two you can create a gate here like this. So, this is this is and gate we will see later on ok. So, gate this is a gate symbol this is a gate and now it is obvious that if I want to see that what why this event has occurred then definitely these two events are responsible and the relationship is de depicted by this gate we will discuss in detail. So, let us see some of the symbols then then we will go for their application one is circle what is circle circle determine the primary or basic failure event. What is basic failure event? Basic failure is the component level failure. So, when we put circle we understand that it is a random event and sufficient data is available that means, we know the probability of that event occurrence. Then another symbol you use rectangle it basically talks about the state of the system subsystem or component event. For example, with reference to pressure tank system the state of the system is tank rupture or the subsystem may be the pumping system or may be the that is the storage system like the pressure tank itself store. So, pump overrun or component level event may be the timer failure may be the operator failure or something like this all such state that whether the tank is in normal condition or in failure condition whether the pumping system is failure condition or in normal of working condition whether the component are failure or not all those those states of the system will be represented by rectangle. So, if I say the top event occur tank rupture then mean the system level failure has occurred this is the state of the system. So, you will write tank rupture within a within the rectangle that tank rupture ok. So, then diamond diamond is a secondary failure under de uh, under developed event can be explored further. What happened when you link the top event like the tank rupture to to the bottom events up to the component level. So, what happened there will be several intermediate events, but you may find out that some of the intermediate events are such that you you are they are underdeveloped means you are not able able to have the full information and you require to explore it further and at present uh, when you are developing the fault tree that time your knowledge base is not that sufficient to explore it then this is this will be put under diamond symbol then we say this is a secondary failure it cannot be it cannot be exp explored now, but it required to be explored further. But if it is if it is to it you can explore it further. So, you explore it dig down to the bottom level. So, do not put diamond then what happened oval oval symbol is basically conditional event. So, if something happened with the in reference to this then only uh, then only what hap then only this uh, top event will occur. For example, that alarm sounds like in the pressure tank system you have seen that there is a alarm alarm sound under over pressure condition and if alarm sounds at the time operator need, need to check the pressure gauge and then he should he should remove the the contact ok. So, now what happened suppose alarm sound and operator wrong uh, taken wrong action then what happened top event will occur over pressure condition will occur and finally, rupture will take place. So, here 
operator pushes a wrong switch is the conditional event. So, such things will be put under oval. What is house? House represent either occurrence and non occurrence of an event. There may be a situation when the both occurrence and non occurrence has consequence has uh, causal implication to 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 the uh, system. So, then what happen under such situation you will use this it is occurrence as well as a non occurrence as consequence not only occurrence non occurrence. So, when you go for bigger fault tree may be house event and other things will come. Now, the triangles in and out two triangles are used that is transfer in and transfer out symbol used to replicate a branch of a sub tree of a fault tree elsewhere of the fault tree. So, when you develop system level fault tree you may find out that the tree will be very very big and may, it may so happen uh, when you come to the sub subsystem levels. So, there may be some of the sub subsystem which are basically applicable in other part of the tree. So, that is why what happened the if you develop a fault tree for a particular sub subsystem and then you should not require to develop it further in the other part you just put in and out symbol out symbol in the first case and other place you write in and that will basically reduce the size of the tree qualitative that tree the size of the tree. So, these two symbols these two symbols very special symbols. So, they will be uh, or commonly we uh, small tree it is not used, but for a big tree particularly for big tree this is used and this is a symbol which basically uh, you, you may not get all the time such kind of examples, but sometimes it may happen that whether it is uh, the occurred or not occurred and uh, that has some implications. Okay. So, that means how many there are 6 event symbols these are just to represent the represents basically what is the happening there when you develop the fault tree. Then there will be several gate symbols. Gate symbols are used in between event symbols to logically link the parent and child uh, that events parent event to the ch children events. Okay. So, there will be AND gate there will be AND gate OR gate priority AND gate and then exclusive OR gate inhibit gate this voting gate. So, 6 gates I am showing here. So, I will explain all those gate with example. Okay. Now, first first is AND gate what does it mean the output event occurs when all the input event occurs this is a AND gate what is the output event power is unavailable in the system what are the input event principal unit fails standby unit fails you think of two <coughs> situation where the principal unit is there standby generator is also there. So, now there is no power no electricity in the system when principal units fail so there may be there the standby unit will work automatically with the help of a switch controller. Now, let us the situation is that principal units fails and then also standby units fails. So, much before repair repair replacement or repairment of the principal unit what will happen power is unavailable. So, that means both principal unit as well as standby unit should fails should fail then only this situation will occur. So, here this is my output event and and these two are input event input event need not be there will be only two inputs. So, it, it can there can be many more inputs here suppose there are k inputs with AND gate and one output obviously. So, in that case this output will occur only when all the k inputs occur. If all the k inputs does not occur output will not occur that is what is AND gate. Now, 
then OR gate, OR gate with <coughs> it is basically again in terms of OR gate there will be output event, there will be input events. Okay. Now, you just see uh, the pressure tank example what we have, al uh, we have already explained. So, what happened timer contact closed. So, when timer contact will be closed, timer con contact fails to open and timer failure. So, <coughs> over pressure condition occurs when timers contact closed more than the set time. The setting will be done by timer. Now, if there is a timer failure, then what will happen? This con uh, this uh, contact will be closed. If it we think that uh, it is first closed and it is running, then and then otherwise what will happen? The timer contact itself is no, uh, fails to open. So, this is failure mode of timer contact and timer also is failed, it has failed, it is not working. If either of the two work happened, then timer contact will become will be closed. So, this kind of situation is that output event occurs when at least one of the input events occur. So, need not be again here there will be only only one input there will be many inputs. What does it mean? Any on one of the input event if occurs output event will occur. So, that is your OR gate. Then priority and gate. What is priority and gate? Priority and gate is the output event occurs when all the input event occurs in the order from left to right or right to left. Actually, there is a sequence of occurrence that is then you use priority and gate. For example, there is a standby suppose power that is main system fails, then the standby system will be automatically uh, operational through a switch controller switch controller connect the standby units. So, what will happen when principal unit fails then switch controller job starts it basically makes the standby unit operational, but unfortunately what happens switch controller first fails and may be after that that principal unit fails and it was not noticed the switch controller fails not repaired. So, when principal control unit fail, so switch controller has already failed it will not make the standby unit operational. So, here the standby unit will not work and as a result the power will be unavailable provided first switch controller fail followed by principal unit fails. So, that is what is the order that is the first then the second, but both the things must happen it should happen in this order. What will happen if switch controller is successful principal unit fails then automatically standby unit will start working. So, power will be available in that case. Okay. So, this is known as priority and gate. Then another gate it is exclusive OR gate. What is exclusive OR gate? Exclusive output event occurs, output event occurs if either of the two input event occurs, but not both. So, you have generator 1 and generator 2. So, we are talking about my output event is partial loss of power. So, let the both generator 1 and generator 2 should operate to have the full loss of power at full power. So, if both the fail generator fails that will be full loss of power. Now, partial loss of power is a situation when any one of the generator will work. You can extend to more inputs, but for the two inputs like this. So, 
this is the case suppose output event occurs if either of the two event not both if both will occur suppose this fail and this fail there will be no power this fail this doesn't fail or this fail second one fail first one doesn't fail then it is it is, it is partial loss and as a result we are using this symbol that exclusive or symbol is like this so we are using this symbol it's equivalent and an or gate sim you see partial loss of power is possible when generator 1 fails generator 2 operates or generator 1 operates generator 2 fails if this condition occur that means here no supply of power here generator 1 operates and generator 2 fails then here what will be this condition simultaneously occur partial loss of power will be there or this condition occur partial loss of power will be there as a result you are putting the or gate. Now inhibit gate what is inhibit gate? The output event occurs when the input event occurs and the attached conditions are satisfied. This is the case. So, this is input, there will be output, this is the attached condition. Exactly it is written here. As I explained this one that alarm sounds, operator pushes wrong switch when alarm sounds, operator fails to shut down the system. So, this is basically this is the situation inhibited. Its equivalent is this alarm sound operator pushes wrong switch when alarm sounds. So, it is AND gate, but this is a conditional one. So, that is why this inhibited gate is easier. If this happens, then this will be uh, and ultimately operator fails to shut down this. So, this is what is inhibit gate. Then last gate symbol important symbol is M by N gate which is also known as voting gate voting gate. So, so it is basically output will occur when when M of of in input events occur. It need not be that all uh, requires. You require at least m input events out of uh, n small n input events should occur then top event will occur. Example is example is here suppose you have automatic system and then for shutdown there are three monitors and you say that if monitor at least two of the three monitors signal shutdown, you go for shutdown. But monitor is monitor, it can be it, it can also fail or it can generate spurious signal also. If monitor one generates spurious signal and monitor two generates spurious signal and monitor three also generates spurious signal, obviously there is a shutdown. But as you say that if two of the three uh, if two give some signal you will, it will make shutdown. So, if monitor 1, monitor 2 or monitor 1, monitor 3 or monitor 2, monitor 3 if this combination any of the combination shows you that Fourier signal for shutting down. So, shutdown will take place here top event is unnecessary shutdown you have three monitors if two of the three monitors give signal for shutdown you will shut down. So, but these are Fourier signal no problem but this is what is the concept. So, its equivalence representation is this Mane at least what happened monitor 1 monitor 2 or monitor 2 monitor 3 or monitor 3 monitor 1 gives Fourier signal that, that means this condition simultaneously this must be satisfied that is why n these two must be satisfied that is why n these two must be satisfied that is the end gate and get. But this will occur if this condition this condition or this condition satisfied that is why or gate. So, this is what is voting gate. Okay. So, we have explained you the symbol and gate. I can say event symbol and gate symbol. 
then what happened using those symbols you have to develop the or construct the fault tree. So, Erickson has given three concepts actually talk that there will be INS, INS concept, SS, SSC concept and PSC concept. We will discuss what are those I concept. First two we I will just give you the definition from Erickson book and last one we will discuss at length. INS concept involves identifying immediate necessary and sufficient causes, immediate necessary and sufficient causes of an event to occur and link these causes to the top event with appropriate gate symbol. Suppose you are talking about a system level failure. So, immediately what you require? You require you will just find out the what are the possible causes. So, and those causes must be necessary and sufficient to have the top event occur. Okay. So, and then second one is SS SC concept. SS SC concept classifies a failure either state of the system, it is a system level failure or component level failure. If the failure is system level, then you use INS concept to further broken down and if it is a system component level failure, then you use PSC, PSC concept and PSC concept will be discussed later. So, then what is PSC concept? PSC concept P stands for primary, A stands for secondary, C stands for common failure. Okay. So, the root of the primary failure lie within the design envelope and are caused by natural aging wear and tear. So, primary failure see PSC concept is used at the component level. Primary failure means the component itself fails because of its within design and villa because of wear and tear. Secondary failure here with reference to this component failure due to excessive stresses applied to the component human error environment other things. So, it is not the not because of the design problem it is because of the, the you know, over uh, use of the things means excessive stress on it. Suppose a bulb can run continuously for 20 hours. So, if you use it more than 20 hours about 30 hours there is chance that bulb will fail. So, it is not because of the desire uh, wear and tear is because of excessive excessive load on it. What are the common failure? Anything, suppose any component that will work given certain command from neighboring components okay. or someone gives some component. For example, a bulb will, will glow only when you put on the switch and the wire connected to the bulb switch and power supply that should work. Suppose the, you have not put on the switch, bulb will not glow the wire is broken it will not carry current. So, these type of things that means proper signal not comes to the component and that is the situation when we say common failure has taken place. So, common failure are inadvertent control signals and noise generated due to malfunction of human environment and neighboring components. Okay. So, uh, so So, what happened then? We say we say that for faulty construction, suppose when you start with system level failure, so use is your immediate INS concept, INS concept. Immediate for any failure, top level failure, you will find out the immediate causes. Write down and see that they are necessary and they are sufficient to have this. So, then what happened first level breakup is over then you will you may find out the immediate causes related to a subsystem. Then again you may use INS concept and in this manner what happened you will come to the component level. When you come to the component level that time you use PSC concept to understand why that component fails. So, INS and then ultimately SC. 
finally lead to SC component then in the component PSC. So, system level to system component level and then at the component level you use PSC and as I told you PSC primary failure, secondary failure, common failure and we have given you, I have given you already that what is primary, secondary all those things. So, so your this is the system level failure, then what happened these two you see first level contributor they are the immediate causes, then immediate causes are linked with the top or system level failure by some gate. Now, what happened here as it is immediate causes it may be a subsystem level one or may be a component level one. Then what do you require to do? You require to find out the bottom level again. So, find out this when you are putting circles this is the component level failure. Com circle means component level failure. So, long you are not putting circle it is com not complete. So, what are the then steps? Identify undesirable top event, link contributor to to top by logic gates that is a step 3. Step 3, step 2 is identify first level contributor. Once you got this come here then you know the proper logic put AND gate OR gate or whatever other gate is applicable. Then what will happen immediately the first level contributor again you just see after 3 then 4 identify the second level contributor this is the first level contributor then you find out the second level contributor this this and this. Out of this 3 second level contributor 2 are basic events because they are component level failure but this one is not basic event because they may be subsystem level failure it required to further broken down and you repeat this process. So, that is the steps I will I will quickly show you one example and then we will finish this uh, lecture. This is what everybody knows this this is the kitchen gas, gas oven. Now, what happened suppose we want to develop a fault tree what is our our um, top failure the top event is oven fails to burn. It may be due to primary failure such as the burner may be problematic one, secondary failure may be the lighter is never incumbent not working or common failure like no supply of gas. So, the oven fails to burn that means the burner itself may fail. So, this burner system level failure. So, burner may fail then your I am I am giving in terms of PSC concept here the burner may fail. So, then it is the primary then or what will happen the uh, burner is working, but the it, you are using lighter lighter is not working, but you are not able to understand that one may be some reasons it is not working. So, or what will happen it gas is not coming. So, when gas is not coming that is a subsystem level because supply of gas is an issue. So, if I consider system and subsystem here the this oven is one system another one is supply of gas is another system. So, that burner is fails to burn. So, immediately what happened we got the primary that component are the burners. So, we are using PSC concept here. So, burner fails means burner itself fails or burner is not getting the supply of gas. So, why burner is not getting the supply of gas means this is a subsystem level failure. So, why burner is not sub getting the gas then you may find out that there is common failure. Common failure why? Because that may be the component are not able to supply gas. Okay. So, then using this PSC concept here what we will finally found out oven fails to burn primary burner failure secondary failure may not be known and no supply of gas this is the common failure. So, no supply of gas is the common failure. So, here when you talk when you put like this rectangle symbol these are all common case basically common failures and they may be intermediate failure and finally, they may be component level failure. So, when you come down to component level failure put circle. So, then what happened? Finally, no supply of gas, no supply of gas, cylinder does not supply gas, transmission system fails to supply gas. 
then why cylinder not some length? cylinder is a component cylinder is empty automatic valve malfunctioning you are putting diamond because you do not know why it is malfunctioning at that point in time. Then what happened and, and, it, and this one transmission system fails to supply gas manual valves do not open rubber tube fails to supply gas. So, rubber tube failure is a primary these are all these are all circles these are all circles. Okay. So, here also primary failure so that means this is one circle this is another circle this is another circle. So, 1, 2, then 3, then 4, then 5. So, these are the 5 circle when 5 component level failure. Jamming of tube, then why jamming of tube you have not explored it further. So, that is why you are putting under secondary failure. Secondary failure means something which to be explored further. In this manner, the fault 3 will be constructed. Okay. Uh, for the same thing you develop the case the leakage of gas. What happened if you see here we are we are using only all these are basically or these are these are these symbols are or gate, but just from drawing point of view there is some these are all or gates these are all or gates. Okay. So, the more the OR gate that means what happened in anything any basic event occurs it will lead to the top event. So, it is a vulnerable system vulnerable system top event may happen occur in me. Okay. So, I, I will show you another one leakage of gas here for the same kitchen system oven system leakage of gas. So, this is my OR gate cylinder rupture then there is AND gate AND gate AND gate AND gate another OR gate. So, when AND gate is there that means some kind of standby. So, your your system is better in terms of because our ultimate in safety studies top event is the undesired event. So, where there are more end gate means it, it basically prohibit to the undesired event to occur more and this is basically reduce the probability this is the reduce the probability of event. So, by constructing fault tree of a top event you, you can find out that what is the system level vulnerability. Okay. When there are more end gates as we are talking about the undesired event it is better system configuration if more OR gates or all OR gates then it is a problematic one. Okay. So, what I have shown then we have basically seen that we have basically seen that the gate symbol. So, let me tell you what I say we say that fault 3 it is a graphical and mathematical tool graphical and mathematical it uses event symbols gate symbols. Okay. Then what happened? We have given all example you have seen that the meaning of event symbol, gate symbol with examples, then the steps of construction, steps of constructing fault tree, constructing fault tree. What are the steps? So, you, you may go for INS concept and then SS, SC concept at the SC level you will use PSC concept. Okay. So, in general this is the process, but PSC concept or you may not use PSC concept you can develop if you have your expert. So, you can develop, but please keep in mind initially you start with identifying top event then first level contributors then second level contributors and you have to use appropriate logic in between. Okay. So, logic will be there so as I told you if you find and with using and and or gate you can construct fault tree 
other gates are required to use also you may find out example or cases in your system where other gates can be used. So, but my first level uh, suggestion is that you use AND and OR gate only and this definitely gives you the full uh, idea, but it will be the theory will be maybe the longer one, but your knowledge will be clear. And second thing is that once you become expert you use other other symbol other gates and other symbols. Thank you very much.